Welcome to part 15, Handling Non-Player Objects. Game objects such as enemies need to be managed by the server only. So in this case, we're just going to make a spawner. Uh, the enemies won't have any AI or anything, they won't move around, but the spawning of them will be managed by the server. So just make a new empty game object, reset its position, call it Enemy Spawner. Add a network identity component and set it to server only. So it'll only be active on the server, on the clients it'll be disabled. Because you don't want the client spawning enemies. It should be all controlled by the server and all the enemies would be uh, spawned by the server and they would be networked objects. So let's make a new script as well. Call it enemy spawner. Okay, so networking is important in this new script. So using unity engine dot networking inherit from network behavior public game object enemy prefab. That's what we'll instantiate and public int number of enemies. Next public override void on start server. So this method is run only on the server when it starts to listen to the network. For int i is equal to zero, i less than number of enemies, i plus plus. Okay, vector three spawn position is equal to a new vector 3 for the x placement random dot range minus 8.0 f to 8.0 f in y I don't want it to move oh whoops let me just close that uh, bracket there there we go so don't move in y and in z again random uh, dot range minus 8.0 f so to identify that it is a float and not a integer okay so that's the spawn position a random spawn position so the next quaternion spawn rotation is equal to quaternion dot euler 0.0 f and random dot range from 0 to 180 degrees. And then for the Z rotation, just 0. Next, game object enemy is equal to brackets game object instantiate enemy prefab at the spawn position and spawn rotation. And finally, network server dot spawn enemy. So I'll save that and attach it if I haven't already. Okay, so enemy spawner. Now I need an enemy prefab. So let's modify the player. First of all, change it to enemy. Drag it into the prefabs folder. So it's a new prefab now. This is enemy. And on the enemy, let's delete the gun. Yep, continue. And the bullet spawn. And also remove the player controller script. Keep the health one. We'll use that. Okay, for the enemy, their material. Let's change that to black. And for the visor, change that to uh, the default material. Okay, now in the tutorial they add a mohawk, so let's do that. So add a cube, call it mohawk. For the y position, put that to 0.55, and for the z, minus 0.15, and for the x scale, something like 0.2 and remove the box collider component. Okay, so that's the enemy setup. Apply changes and delete them from the scene. Now in the network manager, 
we need to have this as a registered spawnable prefab. So bring in the enemy. Now in the enemy spawner, attach the enemy and set the number of enemies to like four. Now minus eight and eight distance is quite, uh, quite spread out. So we need to move the camera away as well to like minus 15 so we can see them all. Okay, so now build and run. All right, so there are enemies now. You can see them here and there. Bring in the other player as well. Good. Now, there is a thing to note, though. When you shoot at them, yes, they'll lose health. But they can't respawn because they're not players. So if I shoot them, look, the health just gets reset as the server is doing, but they don't move anywhere. So in the next video, we'll look at destroying them.